Well, the question was, uh, uh, what is my reaction to Thrust and Morrison's charge that the uh, president has been brainwashing people with regard to the Vietnam War? Well, I suppose anyone can use any term they want. Uh, if he's referring to the credibility gap, then I would have to agree, because uh, I think there is a credibility gap, and I don't think the people of this country have been kept informed uh, about the affairs of the people. And I think it's going to be one of the issues, uh, certainly if our party is on the ball, in, in the campaign next year. Governor, you're, you're asking for a crackdown on lawlessness created under the guise of social protest. Would you call for a general judicial reform across the country as well? Well, I, no, I don't think that I'm in a position to suggest a general judicial reform. I am as concerned as I'm sure many people are that there has been a tendency in uh, recent years for the judiciary, uh, many instances, to make decisions on the basis of what they think the law should be instead of interpreting the law as it is. And I think this does preempt the right of the legislature, whether it's at uh, state level or at the at the national level, and I think that it is a, a usurpation of power that uh, should be denied the judiciary, but we are trying in one way in California, tried in the last session and we'll try again to uh, have some effect on that simply with regard to how we select judges. Uh, I have proposed a, a merit system in which judges will be taken out of politics as to their appointment and that uh, a panel of judges chosen by a joint body of laymen and the bar, the state bar and the judiciary will uh, submit a panel for the governor to make his appointments to the bench from that panel and thus remove them once and for all from politics. But I'm not one who believes that we should be impeaching judges and I... Uh, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how you suggest a nationwide reform in this area. Governor, in your Governor, opinion, which uh, Republican? Wait, take him. Governor, uh, Senator Wharton also said that there was, he thought there was no military solution to Vietnam. Do you feel that there is a military solution? An issue again, Governor. Uh, your views apparently conflict with those of Senator Percy, who uh, has urged a stopping of the bombing so near the uh, border of Red China. How, what would your opinion be on this? Well, I've never been one who agrees with the stopping of the bombing. In the first place, we gave it some pretty good country tries, and it didn't work. And all it seemed to accomplish was more Americans were killed because they took advantage of the lull to bring down more armaments, more uh, weapons, and more men. And uh, I don't think you end the war by letting up the pressure. Are you then a supporter of the administration's policy in Vietnam? as far as it goes, but I've always indicated I'd, I'd like to see it go farther. I'm, I'm inclined to believe with those military experts that have said the number one priority should be the sealing off of or destruction of the harbor at Haiphong. Governor, Governor, would you rule out invasion of North Vietnam? Well, uh, no, to say from this point, uh, what you rule out is again to ask me to make military decisions I'm not qualified to make. Uh, and I wonder if any one of us at this point is qualified other than on a broad policy matter to suggest specific ways of ending this war because I don't think any one of us have been given the information we need to make such decisions. Governor, when you first came to Eureka 39 years ago, you led a student revolt. Can you tell us a bit about it? The student revolt I led was quite different from some of the demonstrations of the day. We were a mature group of young people. No, I didn't lead it. I was a freshman. I was chosen to be... No, I'm very honored tonight that a number of very prominent... The question had to do with that tonight I am going to meet uh, with a group of prominent Republicans from your own state here. Hard for me not to say my own state. But, uh, and uh, does this have anything to do with the library? No, I was very honored when Senator Dirksen accepted uh, the invitation to the college and going to come down and... Uh, introduce me. Others are going to be represented here. I prefer to believe that's a tribute to Eureka College, as well as kind of a, some hospitality to a, a former son of Illinois. And uh, the touchy point was, how could these people today, with all the talk of politics and the uh, 
coming year of election coming on how could they participate or how could they be here and outside of the actual function not bring an air of politics perhaps to the campus that properly doesn't belong there and so one individual uh, former fraternity brother of mine is simply at his home uh, having a reception where these people who have come all this way uh, I could at least sit and visit a little together and it's uh, that's the extent of it and I hardly think that it could be anything very pointed politically uh, because I'm sure that we have uh, Republicans of every cross-section and facet of the party will be there. Governor, it is not basically a right, it's a privilege. And uh, who are they striking against? They're striking against uh, literally themselves and their fellow citizens. And I, um, I suppose I'd have to say that I, I lean the other way. I do not believe that uh, uh, you can uh, extend that, uh, that right to those who are entrusted not only with education, but with the protection against fire and and uh, lawlessness. I'm pretty happy that the question turned out to explain also your slip of the tongue there. Uh, no, I'm not interested at all in that. I'm not a candidate. I'm interested in being governor of California. Any governor? prospect of your uh, seconding General Eisenhower's endorsement, your rather unqualified endorsement of Shirley Temple Black? Well, you know, he's freer than I can be. Uh, we have a contested primary there with a, uh, I guess it must be almost a dozen Republicans uh, seeking the nomination in that particular spot as a means of uh, trying to solve their problems. In the first place, they're very destructive of the very ends they're trying to achieve. If there's one thing that's needed today in this country, it is for all of us on both sides to be building a bridge to each other uh, instead of erecting walls and violence can only erect walls. And I would think the time has come when the responsible Negro community, and I think this is 99.5% of them, I think they've proven their citizenship, proven it under some pretty trying uh, circumstances over many, many years. But I think the time has come for them to make a choice and to decide whether they want to con continue to even tolerate these false prophets in their midst who are, if anything, destroying their own community uh, and not achieving anything. And I have a feeling that if you check closely on some of the more militant of those leaders who are advocating violence, you will find that if you settle whatever issue it is that has them worked up today, they'll be back tomorrow morning with another issue. Because in some cases, I think some of them have just found they've got a pretty good thing going for themselves. Governor, is there a way that you see whereby society at large can reach the people who are perhaps misguided by these advocates of violence? Well, we're trying in California, and I think you have to keep on trying. I don't know how, how you mean that, if you mean with regard to farmers solving... Oh, Carl, I didn't understand the question. I took the brainwashing in a, in a different context as a result, probably, of recent things that have happened. Uh, well, again, I don't know how you'd answer that. Uh, the All of us, the people of this country, and this goes for a legislature as well, uh, have been denied... I, for a long time, have felt that we should be heeding more the advice and the suggestions of the military men once you're in actual combat, certainly with regard to targets and the vulnerability of the enemy. Uh, let me hasten to add, you asked the question, I'm not volunteering information on Vietnam, it's uh, uh, California doesn't have a foreign policy, but um, uh, it would seem to me that, uh, that they're all there. The, the problem is to end the war there as quickly as possible, and I believe that that end should not come by simply putting our tail between our legs and, and running out and writing off the sacrifice that's been made by so many. I think that, uh, I think that by uh, turning our full resources and the power of this country uh, to bringing the enemy to a negotiating table, it could be done. Governor, Governor would you go uh, I'd, recognize, wait a minute, I'd recognize him first. Governor, in your opinion, which Republican is closest to the presidential nomination in 68? Oh, I'm, I wouldn't speculate about that. The polls would indicate that uh, uh, Richard Nixon has the biggest handle on the bat right now. But I think it's pretty early. Uh, all the speculation that's going on, I think circumstances in the coming months are going to uh, uh, 
have an effect on where individuals stand in that race. The polls indicate he's out ahead, and uh, while I always thought that the Nielsen rating was wrong when it put my television programs down in second spot, why, there, must be, there must be some truth to them. Do you agree with the polls, Governor? Huh? Do you agree with the polls? Well, I don't think that either a governor or the, anyone in my office in Washington should try to run his job by the polls. Uh, you know, as Winston Churchill once said, this is keeping your ear to the ground, and it's a rather undignified position. Governor, are you running for president? I am not a candidate. I'm not running for president. I'm back here to dedicate a library at my old alma mater. I'm very uh, proud and happy to be here for that purpose. I'm going to go on and do some party chores that I think are my responsibility. All of us, I think, have a responsibility to raise funds for the party, and I think all of us should be putting out a little extra effort because there's a smell of victory in the air. The people think you're a candidate. What? The people think you're a candidate. Well, um, maybe the people think I'm a candidate because you fellows won't take my word for it. <laughs> when Archimedes, the ancient Greek kid, mathematician, physicist, and inventor found a way to prove that gold was really gold. He shouted, Eureka! <laughs> Which every son of Hellas knows is the classical Greek for I found it. He didn't know what kind of a legacy he was leaving to civilization centuries and centuries later because he accounts for the name of a lovely city and college in the very heart of Illinois, Eureka, and Eureka Cotton. He wasn't aware of the fact that another community in the great sovereign state of California was to be named Eureka. Nor was he aware of the fact that the slogan of the state of California is Eureka. They have found everything, including Ron Reagan. 